towards the 7.1 question bond valuation. The question says that Madison Motors bonds have 23 years remaining to maturity. Interest is paid annually. They have a thousand dollar par value. The coupon interest rate is 9% and the yield to maturity is 11%. What's the bond current market price? So you can pause the video and can, can try to solve this question on your own and if you don't and then you can come back to confirm the answer. So let's start the question. Before that we need to a formula. Formula is value of a bond. Here we need to find the bond's current market price. The value of a bond is the market reflects the market price. So the market price, current market price would be actually sum of present value of future interest plus the present value of future principal repayment. So the present value, uh, now we need to know two formulas that is future value is equal to Mon is equal to present value multiplied by 1 plus i and raised to power n or if I can subscript it mm -hmm. this is uh, I don't think the option is available over here all right, whatever leave it so it's basically in the power so here in this question the future value is 1000 and the present value is that's what we need to find the PV we will write it as PV so the interest rate over here is uh, we got two interest rate the uh, the coupon interest rate and the yield to maturity so we will take the yield to maturity as our interest rate because that's that's uh, you know what we are going to pay it with and if I can just confirm yeah that's the interest rate so the nine percent is just the coupon interest rate on which you are going to be you know get paid but the real the yield that you are actually going to get is eleven percent so here you are going to take the 11 percent not the 9 percent so that would be 1.1 that is actually 11 percent is actually if we divide 11 percent we get 0.11 and 1 plus 0.11 is actually 1.11 so raised to power how many number of years we have 23 so now if we 1000 divided by or just i write this again and if i calculate it now so here's the calculator 1.11 raised to power 23 we got 11 point zero two six now if we divide thousand by eleven point zero two six we will get the present value which is ninety point six nine dollars all right so we can write it the other way around uh, is PV is equal to ninety point six nine so that is just one part I, could, I will call it PV1 so that's actually one part this part PV of the future interest no actually it's the PV of the future principal repayment yeah so the present value of future interest is now calculated by an entity formula we know that the entity formula well uh, in this book of Brigham and the entity formula is well the formula is like it's just different differentiate a bit but the answer gives the same so you can use your own books prescribed formula so the formula is PV is equal to I'll call it cash flow some people and some books call it PMT 
it's the or you can say the coupon interest rate coupon coupon interest or not with the rate it's the coupon payment so i think i should you know write the formula in other form so the formula i just you know write it down the present value is equal to pmt or cash flow or coupon payment bracket open one minus bracket open again one plus i actually the other bracket should come over here raised to power minus sign divided by the interest rate so if i put down the values is equal to what's the pmt over here the question says that the interest rate is nine percent and the power value is one thousand so nine percent of one thousand is actually ninety dollars so ninety dollars multiply by a bracket on oops i need to drag it up one minus one point one one the interest rate over here is again the eleven percent it's not the nine percent nine percent is the rate at which you are going to get the you know the annual um, monthly bond payment here it's the annual rate i think so nine percent is the rate at which you are going to get the annual coupon payment that is of ninety dollars it's uh, it's not the one one ten if it is 11% the coupon interest rate then you will be going to get the $110 per year on this bond so the yield to maturity it actually tell the whole time the whole 23 years in this question for this question you see the 23 years you are going to get the payment so the interest rate the yield to maturity so the yield is 11% the interest rate is nine percent uh, it might be probably the it is now you know you can ask that why the interest rate is nine percent and the yield is eleven percent how how can that come so yeah because you know the this bond must be a discount bond that is you know when you purchase this bond you must have bought it for like 900 or something lower than 1000 that is actually paying you 900 plus the two percent extra So coming towards the filling the formula raised to power minus 23 and the whole of this is needed to divide it by the yield that is 0.11 so if I calculate this on a calculator I'll get 1.11 raised to the power minus 23 then 1 minus the answer that's 0 0.909 divided by 0 0.11 the factor I get over here is 8.26 so is equal to and 90 into 8.266 so now I'm going to multiply it by 90 the answer is 743.9 it's 740 3.98 so that's the present value present value 2 now if we add we need the question asked us what is the bonds current market price the current market price is you know present value of the future interest this is the present value of the future interest and the present value of principal repayment and this is the present value of repay principal repayment so if we're gonna add them to now let me put this is equal to or I write implies that so just you know 90 point six nine plus seven forty three point nine eight so here we go 
the answer of 832 834.67 so that's our answer so if you have any question related to this question or you want this solution uh, you can you know go you can always find the link to this excel file i'll put the link of this file thank you for watching